I want to get started. We're going to do one, uh, another Christmas piece, but what I love about this piece is it's a little bit different because we're going to do the Christmas tree, but I'm going to show you a Dr. Zeus Christmas tree. So in your, in your coolers, we have our standing order. What happens with our standing order? What colors do we end up with in Christmas? Orange and purple and yellow and green and all, you know, maybe not green, but all these different colors, right? And I was trying to come up last year with this idea to move along these products. And actually this worked really well. I sold pretty much everything. So uh, you can bear with me, let me get set up. Now this one here, we're gonna just have, add some really funky elements into it. You can have flowers on it, whatever you want. You're the floral artist, you're gonna do whatever you like. That's what's so great. So I'm just gonna get my foam in here. All soaked, I put some flower food in there already, so it's ready to go. And for those of you that haven't seen this, yay, you're gonna be so excited. This is such an easy thing to make. And I show my staff every year, because we have new people coming in, and they're all blown away at how easy this is. All right, so you're gonna take your cedar, whatever Christmas greens it is you want. I'm gonna put one in the middle. And I want this to be quite tall, because we're gonna do a fun spin on it. All right. And again, this is a great idea for if you want to just do a, you know, the old traditional one where you, and you're done. Uh, this is a great idea though for apartments, for people who don't want to have a real tree or don't have room for a tree. Then you can do this and then they get that smell. Because what is it about at Christmas? That beautiful scent of cedar and white pine and all the Christmas greens. And I think people miss out on that a lot when they have their, they're fake trees. I myself like to have the real tree. I like the real McCoy. So very easy to do. And I know some of you have seen this, but you have to, you have to appreciate it for its easiness. The beautiful bullion wire, which comes in every single color. I grabbed a couple, but I'm gonna use green. And I do sell a lot of these trees every year because they're good money and they're good value and at the end of the day, they're gorgeous. So how can you not sell them? I make tons and tons and tons of them. Alrighty, so we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna wrap it. Actually, do I want a little bit more? Yes, I do. Sometimes I do that and I redo it, but I'm just gonna add a bit more of this in because I want it to be nice, thick, thick tree, nice and full and give them really good values. I only have used about a one one bow, I had two up on the table. So you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of product to go in there. And maybe just one more. There we go, now I feel better. I feel better. So, supplies so far. One and a half cedar boughs. Two blocks of foam and a container, that's it and a little bit of bouillon and away we go. So, okay, so what I wanna do though is I'm gonna pull it up a little bit snugger at the top because we are gonna bring this down, all right? And this is where you're gonna have it hang. So I'm just gonna do that a couple more times. Something really fun. Because you know what, we do have those flowers and we want to make sure we move everything and are sitting in our cooler. We don't want to leave anything out. So we need to come up with different ideas at the end of the day that will move it, but yet be Christmassy. So what I've suggested to store owners is have a storybook corner, right? I know I've suggested that to some owners. You have a storybook corner, you could do the Polar Express, get that train out, dust it off, right, from the old basement, bring it out and do a Polar Express corner and do any, any, any Christmas story you can possibly think of, Twas the Night Before Christmas, right? Maybe you can find a stocking of some sort. I've seen metal stockings out there. Why not do that with flowers bursting out or hanging down? I mean, gosh, the possibilities are completely endless. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just take some really fun colored things. That's all I wanted to do because again, we're moving those colors at Christmas. So we have these great things and what are fun here, they just sit down, right? You don't have to do anything too fancy dancy. We're just gonna put them in. We're gonna take these, we're gonna break them off. Cause it's Dr. Zeus, it's meant to be crazy. It's not meant to be all like 
perfect and sitting there. And cedar's great because you know what? You could pre-green these all now, keep it well watered. You're good to go. You don't need to do these the week of or the day of. Get back in there. These just need to be done pretty much on the way down. Okay, so there we go. Put him back in in a minute. What I've got to do is we're going to take this. And you want to have something that's going to hang off, right? So we're going to take that, a little bit of the bouillon water. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about this tree even more, because sometimes, especially with some floral designs, you really want it to look good, like, you know, especially candle centerpieces, because they are very elegant and very beautiful. But this here is not meant to be elegant and beautiful. This is just meant to be a fun thing that you can take home. And especially, people are having more and more kids' Christmas parties, don't you find? People, I'm like, my kids get invited to 10,000 kids' Christmas parties. They see Santa like 16 times, right? Like, and I keep telling them, Santa's so busy. Then why does he show up everywhere? Well, he's got helpers. All right, so there you go. So just something fun like that. Have a great big one, have a snowflake, whatever you want hanging off. It can be anything you like. So again, if you wanted to use flowers in this, I chose not to because I was just kind of showing you the idea because I want you to go back and figure it out on your own. You could take flowers and you could have clusters of flowers at the bottom in the base and make it look just spectacular. Now I'm going to grab, now I got some more here probably put those in and stuff like that but again because we're having fun I got this gorgeous garland and I thought it was great because it's got that color to it and it doesn't have to be perfect and what's a Christmas tree without having some kind of garland on it so this is what I'm gonna be making for my kids for Christmas time I'm gonna surprise them I'm gonna have it in their room sort of about two weeks before Christmas. They're gonna wake up with it in their room, something really fun. And I'm gonna make sure I tell all my clients about it, right? Make sure everybody knows. But again, taking the little balls, tucking them in, random, random, random. And I really don't, if I was doing this for more of an elegant piece, I'd wanna make sure that my shape is perfect and all that, but I'm not, I want this to be fun and whimsical and all those good things. Now I found these at the local wholesaler. Check them out, they got like a, one of those fiddleheads on them, right? I'm like, oh my God, I need that for my Dr. Zeus tree. It's so cool. All right, we're gonna have him sort of tucked in here and maybe you could spin him around, do something, whatever. And then we wanna make sure that we have some flowers here at the base, or not flowers, but greens. You don't want him to see that ugly foam. So I'll put some tips in. All right, you could use some orange carnations there at the base because you do have that foam in there. Great way of getting rid of the orange, right? I find that colors now at Christmas are really becoming in. It's not all about red and white. You still have to do the red and white, but if people don't see that beautiful color in your cooler, they're gonna assume it has to be red and white. It's your job to make sure that they have their options covered. And this is when the wire comes in handy because you can harness whatever you want, wherever you want, by just inserting it in that wire. And one thing I find is that, you know what, you never know what your customers want because at the end of the day, it's all about assuming they want everything that you make. That's what I do. And some people do and some people don't, but I tell you, it's not our place to decide if, our, if we have the customer that'll buy that, because we honestly don't know. We get new people in all the time. All right, why not put one straight up? A little boingy, I love these things, aren't they fun? They come in all kinds of colors too, but I wanted something really bright and vibrant. All righty, a few more of these and we're rocking and rolling. A couple up here. So drag all those things, dust them off that you got that misship that one time of all those crazy colored balls, because it's happened to me on occasion. Dust them off, bring them out, and have fun. So I hope you guys love the Dr. Zeus Christmas tree.